We all love munching on America's favorite snack food. Actually, according to a 2015 study in the USA, the most consumed snack food is candy, so... Fake news, sad. But look at all that unhealthy fat, all those added calories. Her acting skills are second to none. If infomercials could win Emmys. Well, change is here, America. Yes, change is here, America. Sorry to hear that. Introducing Chip Wizard, the innovative new cookware that lets you make the tastiest, healthiest potato chips right in your own microwave. <laughs> They're going to be awful, aren't they? Doorbot chips are fried in all this fat and grease. But with Chip Wizard, you can season chips as much or as little for your preferred taste and diet. There is no way these things come out that crispy. If it turns out that they do, I will happily make some crispy dog poo flavored chips. Season with bold flavors for tangy barbecue chips. Make cheesy chips. Mmm, might have to make some cheesy chips. Cheesy chips. Slice zucchini or carrots for a zesty veggie chip platter. I'm already dubious that this thing's gonna make crap potato chips, so I'm not gonna risk making crap vegetable chips as well. There's no point in making something awful even bloody worse. Or use sliced fruit sprinkled with cinnamon for a sweet, fat-free snack treat. Mmm, hot, dry fruit sounds just lovely. Now your family can enjoy healthy snacks, always guaranteed fresh, with no fat, no oil, and no guilt. Look at them all, sat around nodding in agreement that these chips aren't as good as normal chips at all. Don't spend a fortune on expensive specialty chips. Who the fuck does that? Now enjoy crispy, wholesome chips anytime. Anytime, so long as you have the time to buy the potatoes, cut the potatoes, arrange the potatoes in this thing, microwave the potatoes, then season the potatoes, arrange the potatoes nicely in a bowl, and then eat the potatoes. Okay, so I don't have the exact same model of Chip Wizard, but it essentially does the same thing. So, let's give it a go. Stage one, cut the potatoes. Let's do them very thin. Right, here we go. I hope that's enough. They're about as thin as I could kind of get them, which, um, yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Don't have a mandolin, so we'll, uh, we're a little, where is it? Oh, I bloody left it over there. So let's go and get that, and then we'll arrange them in a nice, pretty pattern. Isn't it a thing of beauty? Yes, this is a knockoff one, which a nice viewer sent to me, so thank you very much for that. It enables me to make some very dubious potato chips, but, um, yeah, I guess we... Pop them in these nice little slots, and uh, yeah, no, oh, there's some offcuts. So I guess I'm going to speed this up again. There we go. That is now full of um, variously sized cut potato. <laughs> so I'll pop this in the microwave. Seems to be uh, kicking a tripod as well. Professional. Uh, it seems to be like five and a half minutes you have to put it in there, so it's going to proper decimate these things. So, um, on to stage next. Ah, punch the bloody fridge. Not good stuff. I'm a little bit scared. One of my crisp spears was uh, falling to its death. Yeah, that's not crispy. It is hot though. <laughs> well, um, it does look like a crisp, a chip. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I feel like I do need to put this in for longer though. So um, another two minutes should do it. Maybe. Right. I'm going to kind of call that done. We'll let them cool down. Can you even see them? They do look like chips a little bit. Some have fallen off though, so... Oh my god, I'm stuck to the bastard. Well, yeah, let's let them cool down then we'll uh, 
so we can throw on some flavourings, they sound crispy. So, well, that was after five minutes. And this was after, I don't know, like six hours. We'll see. Okay, they've cooled down a bit, had a bit of time to rest, so right. get in there. They like weld themselves in. Yeah, that'll do. But can you hear that sound? Yeah, see what it does appear as though um as though um they are quite crispy. So there we go. Unfortunately I don't have any dog poo, but I do have um salt and vinegar, so Make them soggy again, a bit of salt and vinegar. Marvellous. Here we go, a homemade microwavable chip. They're okay. They're actually not bad. Okay, they're pretty nice. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the concept works. They're not going to be nicer than burger bites though, are they? From Happy Shopper. <laughs> Alright, I admit it. It bloody works. It might take twice as long to actually make them crispy, but yeah, the infomercial was telling the truth. Admittedly, they're not as nice as normal crisps, sorry, potato chips, but they're a decent alternative if you are paranoid about the amount of oil in actual regular chips. Yeah, this is a downside. This is, this is a downside. Getting them out and, like, getting crisp dust. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Well, change is here, America. And it's fucking awful. Bit of cheese, I suppose. Bit of cheese. Does it work? Does it great cheese? I'm not going to be able to get away with it, am I, if I don't do this? Um, no, it kind of just mushes it up, so um, you can stop asking. <laughs>